Students, parents, and staff, as the proud principal of Shiloh High School, I would like to welcome our generals to the 2020-2021 school year. At Shiloh, our mission is to relentlessly pursue high-level teaching and learning with a global perspective for all students and staff. Administrators, teachers, and staff are excited to virtually welcome our students back to school on Wednesday, August 12th. At this time, I would like to introduce you to our administrative staff. Ms. Christina Ashley will be working with testing. Ms. Hope Black will be working with the Social Studies Department. Dr. Robert Frazier will be working with CTE. Dr. Parenthia Gore will be working with Language Arts. Dr. Kenton Johnson will be working with our Special Ed Department. Ms. Cece Landris will be working with Community School. Mr. Denny Lido will be working with Community School. Mr. Bo Pizzo is our Curriculum AP. Mr. Ryan Robertson will be heading up ninth grade. Dr. Conkeisha Thompson will be working with our Science Department. Ms. Michonne Vaughn will be working with our Math Department. And Mr. Robert Wilson is our Athletic Director. Each of the administrators has other duties and responsibilities that are assigned to them. This year, the Shiloh Cluster theme is Generals Connect. We look forward to building connections between our Shiloh families, our students, and our staff, and the Shiloh community. How will you connect this year? I plan to connect by hosting more pop-in with the principals this year. Teachers have sent emails introducing themselves in preparation for our virtual open house happening on Friday, August 7th from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock. For the ninth grade parents, there will be an information session that will be streamed at 3.30. By now, you have seen our virtual bell schedule. It is very important that your student attends all of the live, which are the synchronous sessions, while completing asynchronous work on their own. We plan to make this experience great for our generals this year. Our teachers have been working very, very hard. One important feature of our schedule is generals time. Students will have the opportunity for interventions and enrichment on Tuesdays during General's time. On Thursday during General's time, teachers will have time to connect and support students where they will be available for their students and parents. This also gives students ample opportunity to complete the work that they have been given during the week. Many of you have seen the asynchronous and synchronous model we will be implementing. It will be very important that your student is ready for live instruction during the synchronous time. Students get to work on their own during the asynchronous learning. Thank you for supporting us and making this year even better during this digital experience. Our teachers have planned exciting and engaging lessons for our generals. We need them there for this learning opportunity, so please make sure our students are attending the synchronous sessions. Please make sure you take the time to look over the expectations for your students this year. As we move into becoming a positive behavior intervention support school, also referred to as PBIS, we will begin implementing our school-wide expectations known as PRIDE. If you have other students in the cluster, you will notice that the majority of the schools will be following these expectations. Please check out the many videos showing the upgrades to the parent portal as well as the view at your leisure. As we make the expectations across the cluster consistent, you will also notice the ease of e-class and the new functions within Parent Portal. If you are not signed up, please make sure you contact Pamela Jilks in the Parent Center and she will assist you with the Parent Portal. We also wanna make sure that our students are being fed. Meals are an important part of school. School lunch applications must be completed every year for each student. Please make sure you visit our website and complete your free reduced lunch application. Once the window closes, we will have the drawing for the prizes shown here. School meals will be available for curbside pickup during digital learning at any of the schools within the cluster. Meals will be available for pickup Monday through Thursday. Thursday's pickup will also provide meals for Friday. The pickup times at Shiloh High School are going to be 11.30 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. in the bus lanes. Students will need their student ID in order to properly access their accounts for meals. We will be providing those IDs upon your arrival. The student does not need to be present to receive a meal. A parent, guardian may pick up a meal for the child, but you must have the student ID card in order to validate the child's enrollment. Students will be charged for their meals based on their current eligibility of free or reduced lunch or full pay. 
If you have not done so, again, please make sure you visit My Payment Plus, add money to your student's account so that this process can be expedited. Also, parents and students, if you have not done so, it is now time for you to join and support Shiloh High School's PTSA. The PTSA is a way for parents, educators, and students, as well as other citizens to connect and be active in the local school. Join PTSA today. We look forward to connecting with our parents and students as we move into sports, clubs, and activities. Continue to monitor our website, as well as social media platforms to stay up to date with the latest information. You may follow us at the following venues. Don't forget to visit My Payments Plus where you can also see the school handbooks for GCPS and for Shiloh. You can also sign off on important documents as well as donate to help support your students' classes and pay any fees for this school year. Stay safe and remember, it is always a great day to be a general. I love you and I love Shiloh. General salute.